Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rico Richardson. The goal of this channel is to help you guys edit your photos and videos in a professional way, but for free. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of lens distortions using DaVinci. Let's go. Right, here's the clip that we're going to use for this tutorial. I've made a test clip and it's shot on a seven and a half millimeters lens from Seven Artisans and it's got some distortions on the end and that has to do with the fact that this is a fisheye lens. Now there's two ways to do this in DaVinci. Let me show you guys the first way. The first way is opening up the inspector tab and then scrolling down and going to the lens corrections. And you've got an option here to analyze your footage. And if you click that, it'll analyze your footage and it gets rid of the distortions, but it's going to paste this watermark over it because I'm using the free version and not the studio version. And this is basically useless because I can't put this in my videos. Now I'm going to show you guys the way how to do this for free while it still works. So let me undo that by hitting Ctrl Z. I'm going to close down the inspector tab. I'm going to hit the right mouse button. I'm going to click new fusion clip and that allows us to do some edits in the fusion tab. And if we click open the fusion tab, we see a media in and a media out. Now, if we click this symbol, we see that we will have the options to see two images. So I'm going to put the original one on the left side by clicking this little dot over here, and then it'll show the original file. Let me uh, make this a little bit larger for you guys so it's easier to see. So we've got a media in and we've got a media out. And this will be the end result and this is our starting result. So what we need to do right now is we need to change the lens distortion. So let's do that by hitting the control space bar and then we're going to search for lens distort. And I'm just going to type it again. I'm going to click it and I'm going to hit add. And now it has added a lens distort onto this, well, basically timeline. If we hit the shift and we click this and we drag it around, we can drop it onto here. And that means that the lens distort has now been placed between the media in and the media out. So everything we're going to do with the lens distort will make sure that we've got a new media output. So we've got the options on the right side and we're not going to change the mode. We're going to keep that on undistort and we're not going to change the lens distortion model and we're not going to mess around with the camera settings. Hey, but Rico, what are we going to do? I'm gonna show you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to do everything manually. Now, if we move the slider to the left, the distortion becomes worse. And if we move it to the right, the distortion becomes less. But look what happened. It's cut off a considerable amount of this image. So this might be a little bit too much. Now, instead of dragging this back, creating some distortions again, I'm going to leave this to the right and I'm going to change the anamorphic squeeze. If you move that to the right, you see that the image is now being squeezed in. And if I move it to the left, it's being squeezed out. So I'm going to move this to the right, just to the point that I think looks pretty fine. There we go. And then we can change the curvature X and the curvature Y. So if I move this to the left, we see the barrel distortions coming again. And if I move this to the right, that means that this point is moving to the right. So is the lower point. So now we've got a straight door. I'm going to change the curvature as well. So we can stretch it out or we can just press it in. And I'm just going to make sure that it still looks good. There we go. And the final step that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the quartic distortion because if I move this to the left, you see that this is being rounded off. And if I move this to the right, you see that is even becoming more straight. And that's exactly what I want. Not too much though, but here it is. So here's the end result and here's the original result. You see there is a curvature in the door and in the right image, the curvature is gone. And that, my friends, is how you correct the lens distortion using the Fincher Resolve. I hope you guys like it. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video. And until next time, doei!